The Temple of Zeus at Olympia was an ancient Greek temple in Olympia, Greece, dedicated to the god Zeus. The temple, built in the second quarter of the 5th century BCE, was the very model of the fully developed classical Greek temple of the Doric order. Setting The temple was established at an ancient religious site dating from the 4th millennium BCE that was dedicated to the Earth Mother, Gaia, and eventually, was the site of a temple to Hera that dated to the Archaic period. The altus, the enclosure with its sacred grove, open-air altars and the tumulus of Pelops, was first formed during the 10th and 9th centuries BCE, Greece's Dark Age, when the followers of Zeus had joined with the followers of Hera. Construction Construction of the temple began around 470 BCE and was estimated to have been completed in 457 BCE. The architect was Liban of Elis, who worked in the Doric style. The temple was of peripteral form, with a frontal pronaeus porch, mirrored by a similar arrangement at the back of the building, the epistodomos. The building sat on a crepidoma platform of three unequal steps. The exterior columns were positioned in a 6 by 13 arrangement. Two rows of seven columns divided the cella interior into three aisles. An echo of the temple's original appearance can be seen in the second temple of Hera at Pestum, which closely followed its form, although it is ruined today. The temple featured carved metopes and triglyph friezes, topped by pediments filled with sculptures in the severe style, now attributed to the Olympia Master, and his studio. According to Pausanias, the temple's height up to the pediment was 68 feet 20.7 meters, its breadth was 95 feet 29.0 meters, and its length 230 feet 70.1 meters. It was approached by a ramp on the east side. The main structure of the building was of a local limestone that was unattractive and of poor quality, and so it was coated with a thin layer of stucco to give it an appearance of marble to match the sculptural decoration. It was roofed with pentelic marble cut into the shape of tiles. The marble was cut thinly enough to be translucent, so that on a summer's day, light comparable to a conventional 20-watt bulb would have shown through each of the 1,000 tiles. From the edge of the roof projected 102 water spouts or gargoyles in the shape of lion heads, of which 39 are extant. Incongruities in the style of the spouts provide evidence that the roof was repaired during the Roman period. Topic. Sculpture and decorations The temple featured two pediments, the eastern pediment depicts the chariot race between Pelops and Enomaus while the western pediment features a centauromachy with Theseus and the lapis. The god Apollo is featured on the western pediment pointing towards the human side in the centauromachy, indicating his favor, and towards the northern side of the temple. Pausanias reports in his description of Greece 5.10.8 that the eastern pedimental sculpture was created by Pionius and the western sculpture was carved by Alchemines. The metapiece from the temple depict the twelve labors of Heracles. <inaudible> Statue of Zeus The temple housed the renowned Statue of Zeus, which was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The Chryselephantine gold and ivory statue was approximately 13 meters 43 feet high, and was made by the sculptor Phidias in his workshop on the site at Olympia. The statue's completion took approximately 12 years and was one of classical Greece's most revered artistic works. The installation of the colossal statue coincided with substantial modification of the cella. The internal columns and their stylobates were dismantled and repositioned, which likely necessitated retiling the roof. The original floor, paved with large blocks of shell stone, was covered with water-resistant lime, which may have helped protect the statue's ivory against humidity. Topic. Subsequent history The Roman general Mummius dedicated 21 gilded shields after he sacked Corinth in 146 BCE, they were fixed at the metapiece of the eastern front side and the eastern half of the south side. In CE 426, Theodosius II ordered the destruction of the sanctuary during the persecution of pagans in the late Roman Empire. 
Earthquakes in 522 and 551 devastated the ruins and left the Temple of Zeus partially buried. The site of the ancient sanctuary, long forgotten under landslips and flood siltation, was identified in 1766. In 1829, a French team partially excavated the Temple of Zeus, taking several fragments of the pediments to the Musée du Louvre. Systematic excavation began in 1875, under the direction of the German Archaeological Institute, and has continued, with some interruptions, to the present time. See also Elis Architecture of Ancient Greece Greek Temple List of Greco-Roman roofs Apollon of Olympia Topic. References Pausanias description of Greece Topic. External links Collection of images of the building layout and sculptures of the Temple of Zeus Ground floor plan off the temple by Dorfeld, Berlin, 1892 from the Library of Universität Heidelberg